What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grip. Hey, listen, y'all know what channel you're watching. You already been tuned in. You done seen that thumbnail. You seen who I'm with. So listen, this video is all about just trying to show you how, you, giving you guys some ideas on how to level up that big game that's happening this Sunday. Hey, so with that being said, I'm gonna pass this over to him, let him do his thing, and then we finna get into it. So I had to fly out here from the, the East Coast, <laughs> come to the West Coast to right. congratulate my Uncle AB in person right, right, right. for 1 million subscribers. So congratulations. I appreciate you having me on your channel. Looking forward to making some smash burgers for you guys for the Super Bowl. But, you know, we can't over talk it. So let's get into the recipe. Let's get it. All right, so today we're making burgers two different ways. I'm gonna be in charge of doing the American style burger, which is gonna include some lettuce, tomato, a little red onion, gotta have some thick cut bacon. I'm gonna throw some pickles on there also. If you don't like pickles, you can always leave it off. And of course, some cheese. Hey, right, so that was simple. So look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna make a smash burger type burger, right? But we're gonna level it up. I'm gonna start off by showing this right here. Hey, I want you guys to take a look at this right here. Let me see, let me see if I can get this open. You see that right there? Got that brisket, and we got some pu uh, pulled pork. That right there, we're gonna put it on top, we're gonna make like a hellacious. Now look, I'm gonna say it like this, it's gonna be a hellacious level up on a barbecue burger. One of the things is, listen, I know everybody not gonna have that, but listen, this is just the way we gonna level it up, right? But look, you can use chicken or anything you wanna do, any type of meat you can throw on top, and then of course you gotta have these right here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but this is my own, you know, my own blend, right? A barbecue sauce. Got the spicy and the savory brown sugar. And to be honest with you, listen, use your favorite barbecue sauce. You know, uh, either way, it's gonna be good. And it's probably like tailored to your palate. But if, for those of you guys that have bought it, because this is moving quick. And look, a little shameless plug, hey, you can pick up all of this and that Creole kick at SweetSmokeyJoes.com. Hey. Oh, you, you know what? Yeah, 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 that's right. Hey, look, the meat is at Elmer and Jasper's Craft Barbecue. We in Haven City Market. Hey, but enough about that. You guys are gonna find out all about that down in the description box below, and uh, I'm ready. You ready? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Mr. Make it happen, though. All right, so look, this, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off, let me make sure, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's hot enough. I'm gonna go ahead and start just putting the bacon on. Thick cut. Baby. Thick cut. Now look, we're gonna add a little, just a little bit of olive oil, right? I'm gonna go ahead and dump this. So look, you know, obviously, same way you cook at home, hot zone, this right here is a cool zone. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, after this gets to going, I'm gonna go ahead, and after we flip these and all that, I'm gonna switch those over there. We'll start flipping these, moving those back there and getting that bacon grease, yep. you know, on here. And it's important to have the cool zone because if something's overcooking, you can just move Bingo, it very, very important. And I also like to have a little water, right? right? So I do this right here, just to put a little steam in it. So, we doing that. Now let's move over, let's start doing a little prep on your side. All right, so one of the most important steps to cooking is your prep work. If you do your prep the right way, it makes your life a lot easier in the kitchen. So what we're gonna do is prep all of our ingredients for the American burger and have them set, uh, set aside. That way when we need them, they're all in one spot, make our life nice and easy, make the cleanup nice and easy also. So we're gonna take a few pieces of lettuce, I like something about that size, probably about the size of the palm of your hand. It's perfect for the burger patty. So that's what I'm looking for there. Go ahead and slice up this red onion. It doesn't have to be red, you can use white if you want. Now this right here is Matt. Look, he gonna show me how it's done, how the East Coast get down to do there. So right here, he just wanted to cut some thin. As you can see, look, that's like super thin. Showing off his nice knife skills, stuff like that. But this one right here, look at this slice right here. That's perfect. And then the same thing goes for the uh, for the tomato. Super easy, super simple, you know what I mean? But when you say Cali burger, you gotta have something like that. It's gotta have that lettuce and tomato. Okay, so look, what I did was, while he was prepping, you know, getting everything prepped on that side, all I did was just take the bacon, I flipped it over. Now you guys make your bacon however you like it. I'm gonna tell you one of the tricks with bacon is, look, when it look like it's ready, take it off. Cause listen, it still kinda like continues to cook. This one right here, this is actually how, look at this. 
you see this texture and how soft it is? That's how I like mine. But I'm gonna go ahead and make them just a little bit more on the crispy side. You know, we'll let that cook just a little bit longer. I'm gonna take these off. And then as they fry, as they on this uh, paper plate, you know, with this, this napkin, all right, we're gonna leave that one on there too. We just wanna go ahead and get it to cook down just a little bit more. This one here, I'm gonna say it's ready. Nothing smells better than like oh, frying man. a bakery. Oh yeah, that, hey, that's the level up right there. All right, so now check this out, y'all. Now I'm gonna take this. I can scrape that in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in like this. So those of you guys that's out there that don't mind having a little bit of that pork fat, you know what I mean, that bacon, we just gonna go ahead and do this and let these work. I promise you, these grilled onions right here are gonna be fire. We'll just leave it like that. We'll let those cook, and then we finna move on to another seg segment. For our folks that don't like bacon, they can just fry those onions up in some butter. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Work just like you that. know what? Uh, that's hey, that's what I like about you, Matt. Hey, you cover all bases. In the beginning, I was using everything butter. wasn't even thinking about nothing like that. Now that I start talking about this uh, being me and using this pork fat, right? Yeah, I never even think about it. All right, all right. Take a look at that right there. This right here are some nice onions. Now, for those of you guys that like it like myself, I could take them down even further. But I'm gonna say this right here is cool. So let me go ahead. Hey, Matt, go ahead and give me that. Uh, I don't wanna do this. We'll just take it like this. So one thing about cooking on a griddle, you see all of this right here? Look, you know what that is. Hey, what, hey you got a name for it, huh? They call that fawn. Yes, sir. AKA flavor. Right, all right. Let me see what you do. Go ahead. Right, so we're gonna make a little aioli uh, for our American style burger. We'll start with a little bit of mayonnaise, about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Let me ask you this, what's your favorite mayo? I'm a Duke's guy. Okay, that, Personally. I knew that already. I'm a Duke's guy. We're going in with a uh, tablespoon of sriracha also. And you can, you know, adjust the flavor to your preference. So taste as you go, adjust accordingly. So if you like it a little bit spicier, add a little bit more of that sriracha. This ketchup will tone it down a little bit too because there's a little bit of uh, sugar or really high fructose corn syrup, but it's all the same. Right. That'll tone down the spice from the sriracha. So we're going in with about two tablespoons of that ketchup and then about a tablespoon of... W sauce. There we go. Hey, let me throw it up like this. W! <laughs> about a tablespoon of that. Right. And then we're going in with this garlic butter seasoning from Sweet Smoky Joe. Or if you got some minced garlic, a little garlic powder, whatever you got, just infuse a little bit of that garlic flavor in there. And then for a little bit more sweetness, we're going in with some relish. About a tablespoon of that. Break out the whisk, mix that together. If it looks a little bit too watery, you can add a little bit more mayonnaise to thicken it up a bit. Right, okay, so look, everything that you're doing right there, I do. Only difference is you use that sriracha sauce. Yeah, the sriracha you know, gives it a little kick. A little, little kick to it, I like that. Takes it up a notch. And then we'll spread that on our burger bun. All right, hey, easy. Hey, before I get to toasting, let's go ahead and take out that uh, burger meat. Take out that burger meat. Now look, when I do the uh, burgers, I do not, let me just say it this way, I do not, and you gotta hear me, I don't season. I used to season all the time, but I found out the power of just having salt and pepper. I just wanted to like com compact just a little bit. Uh, here's a pro tip for everybody. Don't take your ground beef and make no tight balls or nothing like that. You want to have a little bit of air. Meaning, like you could look at it right there. Look, let's show that up. You see that? You can see like the grain in it. That's what you want. You don't want to pack it. Just to keep it, so it'll keep that flavor and be like, like nice and uh, juicy. Now, look, we're just going to take it, take the back of the knife and just cut it like this in half. And then I take half of that and that'll give me about a quarter, right? Two quarter pound patties. There you go. And then I just roll it like this, not really compacting it. Yep. And then if anybody following this channel know that I get down with them smash burgers. You know what I mean? That's all this is. You know, we represent the in and out out this way. You know? I like in and out. Oh yeah, you know it's one right around the corner. I might have to hit it after. Hmm. Well, after he needs After he needs you, yeah, yeah, you ain't going to hit it. <laughs> right, all right. So look, I got these together. I'm gonna go ahead and just make me and you one. So let's come on over here to the griddle. All right, so me, I like to just add a little bit of this olive oil, right? Any cooking oil you guys use, that's cool right there. Look, 
just get it going, get this hot. And I know this is 80-20 uh, beef, you know what I mean? It's gonna render its own, but that's just how I start. So, trick is, you just wanna go ahead and just add your patty here. You gotta give it enough room so that it'll, you know, spread, right? And we're gonna put it here and here. I'll let it stay on here for about 10 or 15 seconds. Once it does that, you can do it two ways. I'm gonna do it this way. We already got oil on here, right? I'm gonna take this, hold it like this, and then we smash, right? Just like you guys see there. Then if you hold it, you just wanna wait about 10 seconds, then you can just take it up like that. And I decided to go ahead and hit it with just a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna come back and spread a little bit of that pepper on there too. Let's go ahead and add some pepper. Okay, look, you see, starting to cook, the pink part starting to go away. Look, it's all about, when it comes to a smash burger, we talk about the crust. That's what you guys are gonna see on the other side. Now you watching some of my other videos, right now I probably would, back then, I would've just put some mustard on here and fried it in the mustard. But you see that right there? That's what you're paying for. That right there, that ain't nothing but flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting cheese on now because it's gonna finish up real, real fast. Matt, you can go ahead and start getting yours together and then I'm gonna get out your way. All right, so for our American style burger, we're gonna do about a half pound of ground beef, 80-20 of course. Split that in half. So we'll do two quarter pound patties, enough to make two burgers, so I can let AB taste one since he's been so kind and give me a smash burger. <laughs> so for that, you just wanna kinda start the process here. You can patty these however you want. They got patty presses. If you got one, you can get them on Amazon. I'm sure AB can link to one of those in the, in the description box. But what I like to do, is kind of use this as a guide hand and just flatten them out like so and just go around the sides. That way you can make a nice little burger pack. Hey, so look, who needs a press when you can do it like that? Just save yourself a couple bucks. Right, right, right. And one thing about 80-20 is the high fat content, right? So that fat is gonna make the burger shrink down. So you wanna kind of flatten them out a little bit more than you actually think they need to be because they're gonna shrink when you cook them. So just keep that in mind. You I don't see. Want to make meatballs. I see you giving up the game. Hey, meanwhile, while you're doing that, I'm just getting ready to put these these onions back on top on the griddle just to get them, you know, hot. All right. So real quick, we're gonna go ahead and season these up. So today I'm gonna to use a little bit of this Sweet Smoky Joe beef seasoning, and of course that uh, garlic butter seasoning. So we're gonna do a little combo on there. You like the season? You want to season from up high. That way you get some good surface area coverage. In my brain, I'm assuming that everybody know. Right. But that's right, that's the way I've been taught. This is why we hold them up. I got all of that. So once you got a good uh, coverage of your season in there, we're gonna put them on the griddle, get that underside to, uh, to get a nice crust on there, and then we're gonna season the, the top side as well. So. Right off the bat, anytime I make a burger, especially when they thin like this, I go ahead and I give them a double patty, right? So we're gonna put them on here like this. Now we're gonna start making some room, right? But you see this right here? This is why I wanted to finish them up later. You see that? And they tricky. This right here, these are done right. So, let me go ahead and do it like this. We're gonna just put a little of these grilled onions on here like this. I'm gonna let the cameraman move in for this money shot. Look at that right there. You know y'all want some of these. For me, I want it all. Everything that drips down on the side, all of it. Now, but you guys see that right there? I want you to get right on in on that. Come on down, come on down, all the way down. Now I want you to swing it around this way. Oh yeah, you look at that. Now let's go ahead and get them buns ready. All right, so we're working over about medium high heat right now. I'm going down with a little bit of cooking oil just to start the process up. That way the burger patties don't stick. For those of you that don't have one of these nice flat top grills, you can do this on a cast iron skillet as well. Absolutely. We're gonna take that burger patty, press down for maximum surface area contact. That's gonna develop that crust that you saw earlier. Same concept as the smash burger. Give that a few minutes per side so we develop that nice crust, flip it over. Okay, so look, meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my mayo. Hey y'all, this is me, AB, you know how we get out. I'm gonna take it like that. 
Now listen, for those of you guys that are looking at this right now, trying to figure out like, eh, I don't know about the mayo. You know what I mean? Hey, you can do it one or two ways. You can do it this way with the mayo, which is like the major level up. You probably already had this, especially if you ate at a hamburger stand. Or you can go ahead and go with the old school traditional butter. And you want to talk about what it tastes like? You wouldn't know this is mayo. It's so buttery. There we go. Okay, so look, we taking a look at it, right? Look at that right there. That's a perfectly toasted bun. So I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna go ahead, get underneath that, and I'm gonna take it. Oh my goodness, y'all. If your mouth ain't watering now, I don't know what it is. It, hey, there's a malfunction. Let me just bring it close to you. You see that right there? That's the money shot. Mr. Make it happen. Yes, All right. So we're gonna put that here. Remember, underneath, on top, just like you see right here. And I didn't put no barbecue sauce on it yet, because wait, I got something for you. Just hold on. We're gonna take this. I'm gonna put that over here on this side, and we're gonna take these off. All right, so it's been a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip these over. Look at that crust. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you press down and you get that surface area contact. That crust is gonna develop a lot of flavor on these burgers. Another couple minutes here. So once you, if you're not making a smash burger, you don't wanna smash these as you're gonna, uh, you don't want to get rid of all the juice that's in those burgers. Smash burgers are different because it's going to cook them. They're nice and flat. So you can, you can smash those. But traditional style burgers, you don't want to smash. Hey, so look. I saved this for last. Hey, take a look at that brisket right there. I'm going to go ahead and just slap this down here on that. We're going to get that nice and warm. Now, remember, this came from my restaurant. Hey, listen, if you guys are around this way, or right, within like a couple hours, you gotta, you guys got to come on out. And, you know, and like, let's do a meet and greet. Uh, Matt's coming back. We got something... You know what? I don't want to let the cat out the bag. I'm just going to say this. Hey, it's going down in a couple of months real soon. All right, so our burgers are just about done. We're going to go ahead and add some sharp yellow cheddar cheese on top, which is great for a, an American-style burger. Use American cheese also if you want. I'm going to use that cover to help that cheese melt. Like so. Give that about 30 to 45 seconds. We should be good to go. All right, so now that the cheese is nice and melted, we're going to go down with that bacon. Two pieces per patty, like so. There we go. Looking good, man. All right, now, this is like one of my favorite parts, right? Anybody watching this channel know I love the assembly. It's all about that presentation, right? So look at Matt, get down. This is what he bringing. Again, this is that Cali burger. You can't say Cali without having that lettuce and tomato, right? Only thing really missing right there would be like an avocado. But look at the final result. Hey, Matt, you did your thing right there, bro. Okay, so look, we bringing up this little third burger. It's gonna bring up the rear. You can see I already got it toasted. Now, let's go back over here to the grill. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up right now. You can see it's starting to melt good. I don't want it to be all sloppy. You know what I mean? I was gonna put some more of those uh, grilled onions on there, but we're gonna leave it like this. Put this over the top, just like you see, right? Now, let's come on back to this burger. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put, you know, the lettuce on here. What else we got? I'm gonna say the pickles for the top, but let me get some of those uh, onions and let me get a piece of that tomato. Ah, yeah. Man, it's all in the knife. It's all in the knife. Where can they get that knife from? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they know. Hey, you know it's sold out for Christmas. There you go. Right, so look, put some slices on here. Hey, this part to me is just as good as like, you know, fixing it. I like a lot of onions, y'all. I know y'all thinking like, hey, damn, that's a lot of onions. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some of your little, what is it called again? Aioli. Hey, <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, look at that there. Ah, yeah. All right, now, let's come over here, let that drip. Now we're finna bring this over the top, just like you see here. Mm. Oh my goodness. Hey, my mouth is watering, you know, just looking at this. Now, come on, let me find, oh, here we go. Now, let's talk about that barbecue sauce. This is when we gonna hit just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Oh, let's get it open. Just like that. That way when I mash it, it got a little taste to it. Now don't forget, I heated up that brisket, right? We are gonna go ahead and just add some of this brisket on here, just like this. Now, this right here is all the flavor for all you brisket lovers out there. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this myself. Oh yeah. I'm gonna interject here just a little bit because we gotta go down with a little bit of these fried onions. Oh, yes sir. That's gonna add yes, a little sir. texture, a little bit more flavor, and they're just delicious. And they, hey, check it out. 
Now that you did that, we're gonna need something to make it stick together. Cause you see if I push it like this, yep. look, it kind of rolls off, right? So let's go ahead and get a binder. Now that's a burger. Now that's a burger, y'all. East Coast, West Coast connection burger. <laughs> I love it. Hey, can you imagine me and you with a restaurant doing something like this? I certainly can. Oh man, look at this right here. Oh, that's the one. All right, so look, let's just go ahead and cut this. Hey, this piece of brisket laying across of this right here, hey, I, I don't want to over talk it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna just get in. You know what I mean? We finna just. Oh, man, you hear the crunch from the onions. Oh, man. Let's see that crunch. Let's just section. go ahead. Oh, man. Look at that right there. Oh. This might be on the menu. That right there, folks. That's it. Hey, look, we losing our light. We finna go in, wrap it up, talk about this for a hot second, and then uh, we finna get into that next video. And most importantly, taste it. Oh, most importantly, <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. All right, look, so we done moved it inside. You can see we was like losing our light outside, right? Hey, well, check it out. Hey, if he a guest down here on the West Coast, I'm finna show him how we get down. Hey, we gotta have something before we taste test, right? Before we drink. So check it out, y'all. Hey, what, what is this right here? Yes, sir. If you been following this channel, you know what it is. Hey, here you go, man. I'm in. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm tripping, because you know what color this is, huh? Great. So you know they know it's great. Hey, Cheers. That's right, man. Mm. Yes, sir. You know what you're doing. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So with that being said, look, let's come on down here and look at this burger one more time. You see it. It's cut. It's ready to go. It's split in half, ready for me and Matt. We finna make this happen. All right. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. That's crazy. That is, man. What you think about that sauce? Sauce makes it. Brings it, ties everything together. Mm. Oh, man. With the brisket. Ooh, ooh. The smokiness from the brisket. Oh. Hey, so let's go ahead. Cut your Let's get down. As you can see, we ended up double patty in this one. Because why the hell not? Why not? That's right. Hey, you know what? I'm finna just go ahead and get mine. Might as well. American style burger. Cheers. Cheers. That sauce is fire, bro. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and put these over, put this over here, so don't let them get mixed up. Yeah. Mm. That's good. You ain't lying. Season right. Mm. You guys, let us know in the comments what your favorite style of burger is, whether it's the American style, the uh, Smash Burger or whatever we're going to call that beautiful creation. Hey, I'm going I'm to I'm let you come up with a name for it, homie. But that right there with that brisket on it, that's fire, bro. That's a winner. Yes, sir. Go ahead. You got the knife. Go ahead. Put that right there. Let's cut it. This going to be more traditional like to that In-N-Out style right there. This is how I like mine with no lettuce, no tomato. Oh, yeah. Hey, cheers, bro. Onion. You can really, really taste it. Mm -hmm. What it needed was a little of that sauce, bro. Yep. Mm. Make sure my beard looks good. <laughs> <laughs> this got to be in the restaurant, too. I'm thinking of a way we got to put that in some kind of way, bro. Come see us, folks. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm going to get it back in here. Yes, sir. Of that. that brisket is banging on. Yes, sir. Hey, so check it out. You guys can see, hey, this is for real. Now, what we really want to do is we want to knock this off. Now, right, look, this is about giving you guys some ideas. You guys get to look at two different uh, channels, you know what I mean, to see what we're doing. I appreciate you coming out. Hey, yeah. 
I feel like I'm rambling. That means I'm over talking. I'm finna give it to you. Do you, bro? Yeah, man. Again, I appreciate you letting me come out here and hang out with you and cook with you. Uh, make sure you guys take a second to subscribe to my channel, is Mr. Make It Happen on YouTube. I um, uh, just hit 100,000 subscribers, so thanks for all the support. Thanks to my guy, AB, my <laughs> uncle, for letting me, uh, you know, come here and cook with him and make these delicious burgers, and I'm not gonna over-talk it, so. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just go ahead and say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, I'm laughing because I know you're looking at it. Hey, everywhere we went, he kept saying that. Hey, so check it out. Check out this channel. Smash his like, subscribe, and do all of that. Thank the you. same old thing. Hey, listen, thank you guys for everything, and uh, I'll see you on the big game. Cheers. <laughs>